Y'all, this your girl, Anita Gill. All right, team. We need to do a reaction um, uh, update on Alexis Ware. There's not too much information that is out there. But the family has not yet finished uh, uh, searching for her. Now, this article right here is from Dateline. It says, family worried for missing mother or two, Alexis Ware. I'm waiting to wake up from this nightmare. Remember Alexis, y'all, 29 year old, got a birthday coming up in March. Like me. Okay. It says, um, y'all, this is long. Let me sit up. Ugh, hold on one second. This, this article is so long. Okay, it says, It's been just over a month since Alexis Ware was last seen in South Carolina. Her family says it's very unusual for a 29-year-old mother or two to be out of touch with them for this long. Coming from big family, coming from a big family, Alexis had a lot of people worried about her, including her mother, Alberta Great uh, Simpkins, and her stepfather, Frank Simpkins Jr. She would never go this long without her kids. Alberta told Dateline she always had her kids with her. See, that's why I don't understand why she take the kids with her. See, that's puzzling me. She always has her kids with her, but she didn't take them with her. Okay, she always had the, her the kids with her. She always called me all day long like it's like it's it's gonna be unusual if we went two days without talking okay alexis younger half brother travis Ware, told dateland that he's worried too she has always been supported supported kind she just always been the person that would wants to help everyone them just pisces they, that's how we are travis said everything that came with being a big sister that was her she always supported me and my career always encouraged me okay them pisces that's how we are okay unless it's just a hairless uh let me make sure it's good man Okay, here we go. Alexis is a hairstylist who loves fashion and doing makeup. Alexis, quote, had a great personality, Alberta said. That's her mom. She had several appointments set up to do. Wow. To do photo shoots. She wants to do Instagram modeling. Oh, wow. She was going to be her... her platform with that. Oh, that's good. But before she come in, before she could make it to those appointments, unless it disappeared. Alberta told Dateline that during the last weekend in January, Alexis has been hanging out with the family all weekend long. It wasn't the Alexis that we used to used to, Alberta said. I knew that something was going on with her. So what was she doing unusual? Going on with her. Something was freaking out me out. Was freaking her out. Hmm. In what kind of way? Okay, during the family weekend, Alberta said her daughter was crying about her upcoming 30th birthday. She she said stuff like she didn't feel like she was going to make it to see her birthday. What? Alberta told Dateline. Alberta told this was very out of character because Alexis has always gone all out for her birthday. That big for one, that big for her, where, you know, months in advance, she's, you know, she's got her birthday 
outfit together. She would have her shoes together. How she going to style her hair. But this year, Alberta said she hadn't done anything. Hmm, she acting unusual. Like, what? Did nobody take pictures of her? Okay, Alberta told Dateline that late told Dateline that late that Saturday night, January the 29th, 2022, uh, let's just talk about being followed. She sat here and cried. Well, who is she crying? Why is she crying? She sat here and cried. She was telling me exactly what was going on. Alberta said, what was going on? See, we don't know what was going on. It's like she knew something was going on. Like what? She felt like something was going to happen to her. They got to tell us more than that. Somebody know more than that. We just ain't listening, hearing about it. Okay. I went up too far, y'all. Let me bring it down. God, this is weird. Okay. Okay, the next day, Alexis Ware vanished. She left around noon that Sunday. And then I called her to check on her around 3. A bird told Dateline. I saw that she was laying in her bed because, I she said, I saw that she was laying in her bed because I had a video check. She answered right away, and she was laying on her back net taking a nap. A few hours later, Alberta said she got a call from the father of Alexis' younger child around 7.30 p.m. Alberta knew right away that something was wrong. He asked me had I spoke with her, and he was explaining that they had met at the gas station. She gave him the children. See, that don't sound right. We're going to go back and react to it. Let me, it's a lot of reading. Children. Okay, but Alberta said it 